Hello, and welcome to the Banker's Tech Talk video series, looking at all things fintech. I'm Joy McKnight, Deputy and Technology Editor at The Banker. And I'm joined by Charles Delimpole, founder and CEO of Mimero, formerly Comply Advantage, an anti-financial crime artificial intelligence platform. Charles, thanks so much for joining us today. Joy, it's great to be here. Thanks for having me on. So what are the biggest challenges for banks when it comes to financial crime and also know your customer? This kind of ongoing arms race with financial crime. So um, all around the world, there are people who want to try and subvert and manipulate banks. And they're trying every single possible route to try and do that. And the banks have to respond. And currently, it looks as though the bad people are winning. Mm. But also know your customer obviously expands right into your supply chain. So yeah. that also makes it very complex for banks. Yeah, so I guess with the intensification of globalization, with 9 billion people all over the world coming to London and other financial centers, banks have to try and understand at a distance who they're dealing with. And that's a huge, huge challenge. And as the world gets faster and bigger, that challenge is only becoming much, much larger. For us, the, the, the entire foundation of the company was to try and, try and help banks and other companies try and deal with that problem. So how does Mimero, how does it use artificial intelligence and machine learning to really assess that <clears throat> financial crime risk? The kind of old way of doing things has been shown to not really work, right? So for the past 10, 20 years, since 2001, you've had endless fines, you have huge amounts of banks now, all they do is deal with monotonous tasks around trying to prevent financial crime. And, and that's failed. So um, what I've tried to do over the past five years is build a new system that automatically analyzes and collates all the information on every type of person and then allow banks and other institutions to try and more effectively triage that. The old way of doing things, whereby you have 400 researchers mm. manually collating information, has been shown not to work. So the future is using AI to try and prevent financial crime. So one of the biggest problems that banks face is this uh, incredible number of false positives. And there are, most banks, their answer to that was really to throw people at that. You know, how can banks really benefit from the reduction of false positives through artificial intelligence machine learning? The real benefit is rather than having thousands of people wading through incorrect data, you can move those people onto really understanding and analyzing better the actual risks that they face. What we built in the past five years is a platform that can help banks and other companies know precisely who they're dealing with and also the risk that they face with that particular counterparty. And I know that you recently did a Series B round of 30 million and raised $30 million. Um, so to, what is your future business plan? Currently, we have 100 engineers working on building the system and platform. Um, and but this is really just the beginning of what we're trying to build. Mm -hmm. So um, right now, we have a database of people and companies who pose a threat. But over the next few years, with 30 million, the, the plan is to make this a lot more richer, to understand better the connections, to better help banks and other companies triage the risks and to just evolve the sophistication mm. and insight in the platform to fully eliminate financial crime and other risks. And recently you changed your name uh, from Comply Advantage. Uh, why did you do that and does this signal a bit of a pivot in your business strategy? Phase one of the company was building this, this kind of database of people and companies that, throw, that, that pose a threat. Um, I think phase two for us is expanding the kind of scale and scope. Mm -hmm. So I think what we have in terms of the data and technology is much more broadly applicable than when we started. So the $30 million and the increasing headcount will go towards expanding that. And I think the brand evolution reflects that as well. Okay, great. Thank you so much for your insights, Charles. Great to be here, Joy. Thanks.